Hello everybody, um, I'm back. Um, today I'm going to go over from what I did back from my last problem, integration by part. I know I did a derivative and you guys should be asking uh, how did he get the derivative of arc sine. So today I'm going to be working with the arc sine, arc cosine and arc time. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. Thank you. Okay, first things first. Uh, we need to know, and I hope you guys are familiar with it, the sine of x squared plus the cosine of x squared equals to 1. Okay, now we need to find the dy dx of the arc sine of x. With respect to x. Alright. I'm going to say let y equals the arc sine of x. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna take the sine of both sides. Now we're gonna have sine of y equals sine of the arc sine of x. And at the end, now everybody know that this and this they're gonna cancel, and then we're left with the sine of y is equals to just x. Now we're gonna take the derivative with respect to x, the sine of y with respect to x, so we're gonna get. Uh, cosine of y times, we're going to use the chain rule, times dy dx to find the inward y. And that will be equals to 1. Okay, now we need to leave the uh, dy dx alone, so we're going to divide by cosine of y. So now we can say that dy over dx is equals to 1 over cosine y. Okay, now, now we're going to use our equation, the sine of x squared plus, uh, plus cosine uh, of co uh, cosine x squared equals 1, but we're not going to say x, we're going to say y, so we're going to use sine x squared of y plus cos squared of y equals to 1 and we are going to find our cosine we're going to leave the cosine alone so we're going to end in getting um, cosine square x equals to 1 minus the sine of x, uh, x uh, y square now knowing this, we're just going to take the root of both sides. We're going to take the root of both sides and we're going to have cos of y equals the root of 1 minus sine square of y. Okay, now knowing this, we're going to plug that into our equation, uh, into our derivative. So, now we're going to have the dy dx is equals to 
1 over root of 1 minus sine square of y. <coughs> Okay, now that we have the equation, we're pretty much done, uh, but we need to have it with respect to x, not to y. So, and then we go back, and then we see that our sign of y is just equals x. So, we just can go back and plug into our equation that we have, and then at the end of the day, we have the x equals 1 over 1 minus, and then we replace the x, it will be x squared. And that's it. That's the derivative of the arc sine. All right, I hope you have enjoyed. So that was the derivative of arc sine. So, and then you just follow the same step for the arc cosine and the same step for the arc, uh, arc time. Uh, if you don't get it, I'll make another video about each of them. Uh, and I hope you have enjoyed this one. And we'll uh, see you soon. Thank you.